In this video, we'll get into some mathematics. So, obviously, I've already introduced to you integers, and I've already introduced to you float numbers. I'll show you now how some of them work. So, we can print an individual number such as two. Uh, we can print a negative number such as nine, and we can print decimal numbers that are either negative or positive as well. So we'll put minus 9.9, .9, and we'll print 8.756, blah, 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 blah. And just to prove that works, I shall run all of this. Not minus 0 0.9.9, 0 .9, that's not a real number. I can print all the rest like this, and voila, they all print out. So you might be wondering, how do I perform operations on uh, numbers? So this may be addition, multiplication, subtraction, division, etc, etc. I'm pretty sure I've already demonstrated addition and subtraction, but we'll go over it again. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make a couple of variables. Maybe we'll make three variables. We'll make variable A equals 9, uh, variable B equals 7.6 and variable c equals minus 8.1 all right now the first thing we want to do is addition so let's print the addition of these three variables so addition is quite simple it's just as you would imagine it really just enter the variables or the numbers that you want to add and use the uh, addition sign as you would in regular maths, pen and paper. Oops. Whoopsie daisy. Running variables that I haven't defined. Hmm. There we are. And that is the addition of those three variables, apparently. Okay. Now, the next thing we might want to do is subtraction so let's subtract 9 from 7.6 so b minus a and this should be minus 1.4 and subtraction again is just as simple as it would be uh, in, uh, in real life it's just use the minus symbol and you can subtract quite easily now what about division? Okay, so we'll divide A, which is 9, by B. And in order to divide, you need to lose this forward slash sign. And that is how you divide in Python. So you use the first number, the number you want to divide it by, uh, and you put the forward slash sign in between them. And there we have a decimal number, which makes sense considering the two figures that we've used here. Now let's say that you want to do a different type of division. Maybe you want to see uh, how many is left over. You know, maybe you want to get the remainder. So let's say if we divide 3 by 2, it should be 1.5, but if we wanted the remainder of the division of 3 divided by 2, well, you can divide 3 by 2 once, but then you can't divide it twice. So you can divide it once and then there's still one left over. So 3 divided by 2 should have remainder of 1. In order to get this remainder, we use an operator known as the modulus operator. So 3 divided by 2, 3 modulus. See this uh, percentage sign here, this symbol? 3 modulus 2, and it should print out 1. And we can do this again because this is a bit more of a complicated uh, a sort of operator 5 divided by 3 again this should be 2 because 5 remainder 3 should be 2 and we do indeed have 2 there is our remainder one more thing that you can do with these numbers is you can get the exponents so let's say you want to print out 5 or use 5 to the power of 7 all you have to do is the print statement here, 5, and you use two of these star symbols. So 
similar to uh, you know other, other things so 5 to the power of 7 should be quite a big number 78,125 multiplication let's say we want to multiply 3 by 4 it's one star sign so one star sign for multiplication and two star signs for exponentials part of the power of so 3 times 4 that should come out to 12 if we print 9 by 2 this should come to 18 so we'll do 3 by 4 and get 12 first just to prove that it works and we'll do 9 by 2 to get 18 so there you can see that there's quite a few you know basic uh, maths functions maths operations dis displayed there for you to see so we'll start again we've got we've got addition here we've got subtraction here using the minus symbol so addition and subtraction are more or less the same division here using this forward slash symbol uh, again on a lot of web pages their calculators use this so it's not too uncommon to see this uh, the remainder symbol um, depends on the calculator you're using whether it will use modulus often it won't use modulus so this is something you should bear in mind so this percent sign is the modulus operator and it will give you the remainder of the left divided by the right the left number that is divided by the right number and then here we have a double star sign and that will give the left number to the power of the right number and then we have a singular star sign and that will be the left number multiplied by the right number okay now let's assume that we do a complex operation such as print 3 plus 2 times by 9 yeah or 3 plus 2 times by 2 yeah or 3 times 3 plus 5 3 times 3 plus 5 depending on how you interpret it should be either 9 plus 5 which would be 14 or it should be 15 times 3 which would be 45 Python will interpret this as, I think it'll interpret it as 14, but let's print it out to make sure I'm correct, because we can't just assume that I'm right. And it is 14, as you can see here. But let's assume we didn't want it to be 3 times 3 and then the addition of 5. Let's ta assume that we wanted to multiply 3 plus 5 by 3. So we wanted to multiply uh, 8 by 3. So, so, I don't know where I got 15 from there. 8 by 3. Yeah, well, that would actually be 24. And in order to do that, we can put these two in these opening, blocking, uh, opening, closing parameters here, parentheses here. And now, the first thing it'll sum up is this 3 plus 5, which will be 8. And then it'll times multiply that 8 by 3 which should give us I think 24 unless my maths is really wrong yeah so there we go this can be done as well for other equations so let's imagine 2 plus 8 times 9 what have we got do we get 90 or do we get something else we get 74 but maybe we didn't want to get 74 maybe we wanted to get 90 like this maybe that's what we wanted to do so you can see that depending on where we put the opening and closing uh, parenthesis will make a big difference to how Python actually calculates the math so let's imagine you have a really big calculation 9 times 7 plus 22 times 3 plus 7 for example it really will uh, it really will benefit you 
to use opening and closing parentheses because as this is, uh, the layout is confusing. I have, I, I won't lie, I have no idea what this, uh, what what this mathematical equation is going to produce uh, in terms of the order of uh, operation. So I personally would just put whatever I need in parentheses uh, into some kind of order. Uh, that, that that I can interpret, that I can understand, rather than having this mess mess of an equation here. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, just for these functions now, and I'm going to move on to a few other things that can be done with Python. So we can print, let's say, the absolute value of something. We can print the maximum value of two values, the minimum of two values, and round down a value or up a value. So let's say that we have a value. Let's just call it value equals whatever. For now, we'll say it's 3.7, right? And we want to round that to a different value. Yeah? Well, there's actually a function that allows us to round that. So print round value. And in the real world, in with real mathematics, we'd expect that that would round to 4. And it does. But then we would expect that once it drops below 0.5, that it should round to 3. And it does. So you can use this round function, which is essentially just written as the following round plus parenthesis, open and close parenthesis, brackets, whatever you want to call them, with the number as the input inside. That will round this number here, or it'll return the value of the rounded up number. If you actually look at the value of value, the value hasn't changed. So this round just returns uh, the rounded up value. It doesn't actually change this value itself. It just returns a changed version of the value, if that makes sense. The next thing we can do is print the maximum or minimum of two values. So let's say we've got uh, print the maximum of value which value is uh, 3.49 at this moment in time and it needs two arguments so in these parentheses here um, we put two different numbers it, it doesn't matter what the numbers are really um, it will compare them and find out which is the maximum and then we'll put c which is negative 8.1 as value is uh, positive and c is negative we would expect that value should be the highest of the two values and that we should get a return value of 3.49 and we do let's try this again with something that isn't negative and we'll use b as 7.6 in variable b is higher than the 3.49 of value we should see the 7.6 coming out and we do and we can do the reverse of this so we can print the minimum or you get the minimum value of value and b and now we should be expecting to get the value 3.49 as it is the minimum of the two values here so that's a little function there so that's maximum and minimum there and one more little function i'd like to show everyone before i finish this video is a function known as abs and this gets the absolute value of a variable or of a number more specifically so i put the variable or the number inside of the parenthesis after the abs function and this gives me 8.1 for c now c is actually a negative number and what abs does it gets the value of the number not not the negative attached to it, nothing else attached to it, just the value of the number. And the absolute value of this minus 8.1 is 8.1. And that's really all I want to show you for now. I may expand on this later, I may not. But yeah, I would recommend that you know you have a little bit of fun with uh, some of these different functions and these ways of doing mathematics in Python. And just see what you can learn uh, by playing around, really.